Welcome back everyone, it's eDogs82, and today I'm here to play The Forest with you. So I'm just going to start off a single player campaign, a totally new one. I know you guys are familiar by now with me playing with Katatori Key and our friend Volsa. And so you guys know I know how to play this game, but I haven't discovered everything yet. That's what I intend to do with this Let's Play. So my goal in this is not only to survive, but to actually find Timmy. And this Let's Play won't stop until I do. So I hope you guys enjoy and stick along for the ride. And I'm pretty sure we're about to start crashing in the plane. If this game would just hurry up and load. <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate you guys uh, recently all coming to my channel, if you have, if you've been here for a little while, if you're still watching. Thanks so much, it's great. Okay, so we've got some rice and looks like disgusting meat and a packet of silver or something. Oh, shit! And we got Timmy. Stay back, Timmy. Oh, that guy just flew! It's totally dead. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Ride the plane! And we have crash landed, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Come back here! Give me Timmy! Don't take my son! You stupid, dirty cannibal! Put him down. Oh, come on, man. Just let him walk away from me as I black out. Well, I'll find your ass. I got a good look at Ugh, what a trip. <clears throat> I really hate plain food. No, really, I do. In real life, when I, whenever I've flown in a plane, oh man, I hate the stuff. It is disgusting. It makes me feel so sick. Okay, so we got the passenger manifest. So that's one of our side objectives. We're looking for all of the passengers that were on the plane. Okay, we got our axe. Lovely. Sorry about, you know, dying, lady, but, uh, okay. Let's take a look at the passenger manifest. How many people are we looking for? Flight 111. I'm guessing that there's 145 passengers. Damn. Okay, that's... That's not good. That's a lot of passengers. Huh. Oh, hello. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Your sacrifice will not go in vain. Let's gather up as much gear as we can in this general area. Not your head, Rabbit. We can't use that. Let's start busting open these suitcases. I hope to get out of here before we start getting a welcoming party. Wow, where did all the suitcases go? There's hardly any here. This is fishy. Okay, I'm gonna quickly craft myself up a spear. A weak spear at that. Can I upgrade it to a upgraded spear? Apparently I can, but how? I have no idea. 
I'm going to take this stick with a cloth. Create that. Awesome. How much cloth do I have? Three. Okay. So let's pick up as many sticks as we can now. What is it telling me to eat? Oh no, these are bad berries. There's seriously no suitcases really in this area. That's incredible. Usually this place is littered with suitcases. Well then, I guess it's time to move on. Man, we crashed really badly. The plane looks awful. Learn the basics of survival. Okay, just to shut you up, I will, because I know exactly how to play. Thank you, Mr. Guidebook. I hear water. Ah, that must be where all our suitcases went to. Oh, good, we got some marigold over here. That will be definitely very useful. Let's grab as much of it as we can. All I need now is to find some aloe vera to mix it with. I don't want to eat those mushrooms because those are poisonous. Let's head down to the water. Oh, this place looks familiar. You know why it looks familiar to me, guys? Because this is exactly the place where I was camped in my solo playthrough that is my personal playthrough, not my Let's Play. I set up a great big massive trap network here and held off the cannibals for a while, but then I needed to get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, look at that, there's another suitcase down here. Thanks for not allowing me to get you now. Oh, there's a lizard. I want the lizard. Oh, we got some more marigold. More lizards. Tons of marigold in this area. Some more rabbits. Tons of lizards. So far, I'm yet to encounter any cannibals, which is good. Yes, perfect. I'm going to use my spear to get me some fish. Come on, fishies. Come to eat eggs. Oh, too deep. There we go. Just gotta get the aim right. Ooh, slippery fish. Hey, we got it. Okay, so we can only have three fish in our bag at a time. That's what I've learned. So I'll cop. Pardon me. I'll come back here if, and get more fish later. If I can remember where it all is. And we have <clears throat> another pond with some fish in it by the looks of it and a abandoned campsite. I wonder what happened to the inhabitants. <clears throat> Time to find out. Hey, this is lucky as we found an old pot. 
like now I can drink from it and be okay. Looks like they were having a camping trip up in here. Don't know why they decided to put their tent up in a flipping tree and weigh their sleeping bags down with rocks, but you know, each to their own. And that marigold grew in the water, and these are some huge fish. But anyways, moving on. I can't believe I found that um <clears throat> old pot so early on in the Let's Play. This is awesome. I'll never have to worry about water again. Oh, this looks like a big tree. Special tree. <clears throat> I think it might be one of the cannibals holy trees. Ones you can't cut down and they come to worship at. What is this? Is this the plane again? It is indeed the plane. We've just gone in a circle. Okay then, let's go folks. <laughs> oh, we have our first cannibal, ladies and gentlemen. Does he want to fight or does he want to run? I'm going to put my lizard skin armor on. <clears throat> Try and protect myself. And this should probably also provoke him to want to fight me if he's still in the area. I hear him. Just don't see the guy. This is dangerous country to be in. Oh, he's back there. Okay, let's get into more open ground because I don't want to be caught out by him in all this underbrush where I can't see properly. <clears throat> well, that looks like a nice little pond area. Oh, I recognize this place. This place is actually um, the opening to a cave. In that water, there's uh, a cave that you can go straight down into. If I had the rebreather, oh, it's got fish too. If I had the rebreather, I could go straight down and into the caves. What I want to do is come over and collect what's on this boat, which is ropes. Ropes are very good, very handy. And now we're going to take a swim over to the different towers and see what we can find in them. Well, on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's climb up here. See what we can find. Wow, I nearly fell off then. Candy bar, medicine, and some cash. Awesome. And if we hold down the shift key, we can slide down the rope really quickly. Very useful. half tempted to set up on this place. It 
has fish, it has these sick towers, and it's water. The cannibals can't come on the water. Okay, so they got a bunch of tennis balls, which are useless, garbage. I didn't say go down. There's tons of wildlife around this area. There's a soda, another gay ass tennis ball. And yeah, this is actually an incredible place to set up. Although there's that cannibal there, it's not really going to be too big of a problem. And we got geese. How good is that? Yeah, 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 I see you, punks. What are you going to do about it? Swim out to me and eat me? Yeah, right. I want to know, can I spear these geese? Hey. Come here, man. I need to know. Oh, you tricky little buggers. I'm going to have to use something like a, um, a bow and arrow to catch these guys. This is a good little spot. I think I'll set up right here. Okay, let's get things started then. I'm going to do a temporary shelter just for the time being because I can't exactly get any logs over here until the hell until I build a bridge over unless I can hop over with the logs all the way maybe I'm gonna try it I can use the rocks to hop over. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Oh, and there's the another cave entrance right there. So although I'm kind of setting up deep in cannibal territory, it isn't really going to matter because of the location. I'm literally on the water. The cannibals can't do anything about that. They can't stop me. Damn it. A whole bunch of my logs just fell through the earth, through the water. And I can't exactly pick those up. But uh, here we go. Did I? Yeah, I must have done that. Whoops. Oh, here's one. We, we saved a second. Time to try out some hardcore parkour. See if all those years of playing Assassin's Creed paid off. So far, not so good. Uh oh. Damn it. I can't get up this way with the logs, but. Go away! I don't want to fight! You guys are annoying.
Okay, just threateningly watch me, then march away. Good deal. Okay, I can come this way and possibly get where I need to go. Yeah, I can. Not bad. Not bad, e dogs. Not bad. Good job. Well done. So the water is going to act as a natural defense. I'm going to set this temporary shelter up if I can. And I'm going to stand in the way of these logs before they roll into the water. And then I'm going to put myself a hunting shelter down here. And chuck these onto there. Okay, so at this point, I need some sticks. I'm going to eat a candy bar. It's getting really dark. I'm going to get cold, which is no good. But there's nothing I can do about it. So I need eleven sticks, which I can't get all in one go. Some more leaves. Okay, apparently spearing leaves does nothing. There we go. Some more sticks. Some rocks. How many more rocks? One more. And then we need five logs. I'll come back for the logs after. Ooh, we're really cold. Really cold. Need five more leaves, one more stick, and five logs. Let's do this. We're going to light a torch and get rid of the coal. Perfect. Bad. Bad trees. I mean, bad berries. I'm going to start a forest fire up in here. <laughs> Let's pull out the axe again. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Stick. Uh, I need a rock. 
Thank you. Always use more sticks as well. You're a bad plant. Stop that, you stupid bad berries. Okay, we're going to go stick, rock, rope. Now we've got ourselves a crafted axe. It's a bit better of an axe. Now we were cutting this tree. This axe will cut the tree down quicker. And we won't have to risk our ass out here for so long. Okay, we'll have to drink a soda, <clears throat> eat a candy bar or snack. And now we can continue chopping. Trees down. Timber! Ooh, that wind. Dead ominous wind. And now we're going to have to go the long, dangerous way to get the logs to the place we need them. Oops, slow down there, E-Dogs. Slow down. Don't want to fall off a cliff. Not intentionally, anyways. Well, by accident. Intentional. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, we've got all the leaves we need for the temporary shelter. And now we just need three more logs. Great! That should be easy. Ah, oh, screw it. And we managed to survive that somehow. Okay. Let's get this tree down. Normally I would rest during the night, but it's the first night and I kind of don't have a choice. What the sticks? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's bullcrap. Really, lizard? Really? How the hell does that work? Just cut down a tree and it gives me sticks. I'm looking for logs, thank you. <sighs> Still no cannibal attacks. Interestingly enough. That wind is so powerful. Sound effects are great. Going down. <laughs> okay, let's destroy this shelter by sleeping. Just like that, because apparently those kind of shelters only last one night. Let's 
So now I'm going to have to end up eating that. How many leaves do I have on hand? Just two. Can I set up a temporary fire? A basic fire? Let's see. What the? Whoa! What happened there? Totally lost. Basic fire. Please and thank you. Okay, we need five more leaves. That shouldn't be too difficult to get. Oh, excuse me, guys. It's been a long day. The only thing I have to really worry about in the current location that I'm in is cannibals falling off the top of a cliff and right down on top of my position. That would probably be about it. Food is still good. Well, oh, that's taken a long time to fall. I only need the one. There's plentiful supply of native wildlife around here, which I'm glad for. Okay, we're full up on rocks, but we can always use more sticks. And that, it's an interesting texture that they're going with. What is that that I built like underground? Okay, we got our shelter going. Let's start the fire up. Let's get rid of this bloody stone. Get out of here. Oh, look at that. We got a ton of birds on our shelter all of a sudden. They're just like, you know what? We want to come and party. How about now? I'm cooking rabbits. <laughs> I have no idea how I put a, like, a fire underground. Or underwater. What's on my to-do list? Find the missing plane passengers, find Timmy, set up camp, find food, find and cook food. Okay. So we're currently feeling hungry. We've survived one day. Our sanity is at 100. And we're doing pretty good all around. We've got 50% armor. A little bit tired. So good in the hood. Let's get some food in our belly. Stoke the fire a little bit. Drink some water. 
put some fish on the fire. And let's get about building us a drying rack. Let's do that. Okay, we need some more sticks. Is our food ready? Not quite. Awesome. So let's go out and get some more sticks. Ambient sounds is what really makes this game special. Alrighty. Give me your bounty of sticks. your leaves as well. I'll take it all. <laughs> you have logs. Awesome. But I want sticks. Sticks, ladies and gentlemen. I said sticks, not dicks. Maximum capacity for sticks. Get out of here, you stupid stone. One stick away. No. Is actually pretty shallow right there. Here I come. Oops. Phase two, try again. <laughs> nope. Try a different way. Phase three. And we made it. And there's a ton of lizards and other guys up here. Rabbits and other such creatures of the forest. Let's gather the sticks while we're up here, the rocks as well. That's right. There's another cave over there. That's the other entrance to the cave, or one of the other entrances. How many current sticks do I possess? Ten? Okay, we're good to go. And we are running because there are cannibals in the vicinity that I don't want to play with just now. Excellent. Now I can put all my meat on here and not have to worry about it ever going bad. We've got enough for a few days. Okay, we're going to save the game right here under slot 5 and now I'm going to build
Hmm. Aurora Collector, why not? Just for fun. Where should I build you? Right next to the house? Yeah, why not? Okay, now all I need is a turtle shell to complete that. So, we're going to head down to the beach now, everyone, and get ourselves a turtle shell. Hopefully, those cannibals that I heard aren't still in the area. If they are, so be it. I'll kill them. Oh, luggage. That's lovely. That's a nice surprise. Didn't expect to find you out here. But I'll take it. Thank you. I badly needed your supplies. Free supplies are always welcome. Stuff I don't have to fight for. And there's a cannibal village over there. <laughs> Pretty much everywhere you go in this island is like overcome by cannibals. Like there is no place that you can really go that just doesn't have some form of cannibals up the yin yang all through the place. The only place that I've managed to find that has like a zero population of cannibals in the whole island is on those islands out there. Now I see a cannibal down there, two cannibals, but no turtles. Let's keep looking, get up a bit higher see what we can see. That was a rabbit. Yeah, nice one, you moved. So this area probably looks a little familiar to you guys. Same kind of area that me and Katatori Key set up in. And that island, grouping of islands over there is the one where me, Katatori, and Volsa are setting up currently in our co-op Let's Play. Come and knock down your totem. How dare you build your dirty to totems in my land. Let's switch to the spear. See what I can do with that spear and make some turtles. They usually come up here sometimes, but I know for certain that they come up on these islands. So I'm going to go over here, get myself a turtle, swim back over, and then I'm going to end the episode right there once we finish building our water collector. Man, if I had a raft, this would be so much quicker. Ugh. The raft takes time, and I don't really plan on using it here. Ugh. Despite the game being set to its fastest graphics mode, it still looks incredible. Oh crap, I'm going to drown if I don't have energy. Yeah, there's that turtle we need. It already looks dead. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Thank you for your contribution to my cause. You can live. <laughs> I only need one. 
There can only be one turtle shell in my bag. <laughs> I wonder if I could wear the turtle shell like Master Roshi does in Dragon Ball. <laughs> That'd be cool. Turtle armor. Man, the waves. The wind's really picking up the water and making it quite choppy. Perhaps that's why I'm going a bit slower than usual. Well, I better stop using the sprint button. And like magic, they've rebuilt the totem while I was swimming across the bay. Once I go into the caves and find the, the pickaxe, I might be able to climb up that mountain. Now that would be interesting. I've never seen anybody do it before. And I'd really like to know what's up there. Hope it's something worth my time. Hope it's not something that's going to get me murdered. Okay, we're heading home, boys. And we have company. Let's just ignore him and keep moving. I don't really want to piss off the cannibals just yet. I prefer to stay at a distance from them. Ideally, I would like for them to not even be aware of the fact that I'm here, but they know. They already know. Ouch. So, that hurt. <laughs> Let's get some meds in us. Let's put this turtle meat on the drying rack. Get ourselves a bit of a drink, eat a snack, and call it a day. Slot five. Okay, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I've really enjoyed playing it so far. I can't wait to see what happens and where we go from here. And. My name is eDogs82, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.